Hello, this is Randall, again with the Philippines Project, and of course we're in Missouri. Uh, quick uh, disclaimer, we're not in the Philippines anymore for a little while, but uh, we're going to um, do some floors. We're gonna redo some floors in our apartment here in Missouri, and so I'm gonna try to document that process and just let you go along with me as we do that. So, here we go. So this is the floor we're looking at. It's uh, looks pretty good on camera. I mean, but uh, it's got some issues. I'll try to let you see. You get closer. There's like it got wet, and this stuff is made out of like a masonite fiberboard of some kind. I've already pulled one piece out, and it just got wet. These lines are uneven here they're uneven all the way across here you can see kind of a gap right there so I'm going to try to start pulling this stuff up shouldn't be too difficult especially once we get this first And there's our first big piece taken out. So we've been doing this about 30 minutes. We've got this whole floor up, basically. Show you how to do it. Just grab a hold of it. See, you're gonna have to pick it up in the middle, honey. Out in the middle? Here. That's you want to hold the camera and I'll do it? Okay. All right. I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you how it's done. But I hope it really works out. You know what I mean? <laughs> it'll work out when I do it. Give me that little green thing over there. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Be persuaded just a little bit. I feel like I'm the Texas Filipino now working on houses and stuff. It came out in one piece. Yes, the whole side. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So we have a few more pieces left. Probably we have to lift up the um, this padding in here. Because before we went back in the Philippines three months ago, we had a water heater was leaking. And we have to open up this wall right here. And I just patched it um, two or three days ago. 
So it is this big that we have to open up just to see where it's leaking. So I patch it and uh, now I painted last night, so it's all done. So now it's, uh, we have to tackle the floors. Uh, we decided to keep the uh, tiles. I guess it's uh, for less work, I guess. So we just have to do the, uh, this area here. This is where we live in a small, tiny little, little space. And that's our bedroom and our laundry, laundry area. And our kitchen. See how small our space is. Garage. Oh, of course some are. Some fell off. Fell off, okay. It's okay for now. Washing that air conditioning back in. All right. And she gives a relatively smooth handoff to me, but this has got a padding down. It actually feels pretty nice. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's a, a little bit padding, a little bit moisture barrier. I'm gonna call my brother, my youngest brother lives about an hour from here. He's in the flooring business, sells this stuff and measures it. And, has people install it. So we're gonna find out whether I need to take up that padding or not. Like a sea, like the ocean. Like something set here. Oh. Yeah. So, get this moisture barrier and walking pad. Just my brother advised me that I should probably dry it out underneath. So I've got a fan, a floor fan underneath there, and it's adding quite a bit of air circulation. It's air conditioning here real good, so yeah, it's working. So I like to get my tea bags when I'm making tea. See that white stuff around there just before it boils, and then I shut it off. All right, time to shut it down. Got my ice good and full there. Well, I'm gonna turn my cap. Gonna melt that ice. Since that's warm, <laughs> half my ice is gone already. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. 
see if we can see anybody else in here. She's, <laughs> she's taking a little bit of a break too. She loves to be on camera like you wouldn't believe. See, I consider her a camera hog actually. So I hope the sound's good enough in here. I've got that uh, fan running over there. So we're just kind of taking a little bit of a break. Made me some sweet tea, which is kind of a southern thing. If you want good sweet tea, it almost has to be in the south. And we're technically in the south. We're in southeast Missouri, so. Oh, wow. Pretty good stuff. Flora's laughing at me. I don't drink tea unless I'm really working hard. I don't know that I'm working that hard, but I know I'm sweating a lot. Because it's probably a little over 100 today. And uh, we're in the air conditioning now, but we had the doors open, carrying all the flooring out. So we have actually been really conflicted on even being here in the United States right now. It's... Uh, it's hard to explain exactly how it feels to not be in the Philippines. And you may say, well, that's, that's kind of a funny sentiment. I'm not in the Philippines. I know exactly how it feels. Well, I understand what you're saying or what you, why a person would think that way. But we've got a lot to do here. And, you know, it just seems overwhelming sometimes, you know, really. And some days we just say, you know, we're retired screw it, I'm not going to do anything today, you know, and we'll take, you know, and, and uh, then you feel guilty because you're not working hard at it, and, but we're accomplishing some things, we're putting down this new floor, um, we're, you know, we're doing some other uh, maintenance related stuff throughout our other set of buildings, and so we're working to get back to the Philippines, that's what we're doing, but it, it is interesting to me, the emotional and mental stress of, of actually being retired which I thought when you got retired you didn't have any stress and uh, so you know I'm dealing with that a little bit and I'm doing fine and she's doing fine but it's just not like being in the Philippines you know I don't know how many times I said while we we're in the Philippines I said you know honey we really lead an idyllic life here and I it was just and I'm grateful for everything we've got here. I am. But I've had all this stuff before. I've lived in the United States all my life. And with the, the inflation, it's really worse than what I thought. Um, you know, not only is everything a lot higher, and it seems a lot higher here, because, I don't know, you just buy more stuff. You have to buy more stuff. I mean, we go to the grocery store. We went, what time did we go... Two days ago. Two days ago, we spent like $93, and we really tried to be conservative, you know. And then this morning, we didn't have any eggs. We forgot to get eggs, so that was a trip back to Walmart. And I thought, well, while I'm here, I need to think about what we don't have and go ahead and pick it up, and it'll save us a trip. And that's good thinking. But it was another $54. I mean, you know, that's, what is that? 2,500 peso, 54, 50 dollars. Yeah, 2,500, 25, a little over 2,500 pesos this morning, just just to go get eggs, you know. And you got to get in your car and you know drive and get gas. It cost me, shoot, I can't even remember. I put 30 and 40 dollars in my little Nissan. It's a little Nissan Versa Note. Uh, it's 40 miles a gallon on the highway, 40 to 44, and it cost me, well, it, it cost me almost $50 to fill it up, and it used to cost me like 12 to 15 <laughs> so, so inflation definitely has hit America, and I know it's hit the Philippines too. I watched the gas prices go up while I was there, but I'm not buying gas there all the time, so, and if I was, it'd be in a motorcycle probably. But still, 
inflation, the political climate here, it's just not fun. You know, there's a lot of people complaining about everything that's going on, uh, a lot of powers, and in, in just like anywhere else, whether you're in the Philippines or whether you're in America or you're, you're in the UK or Australia, it doesn't really matter. There's always a, a political climate. Either the government's trying to get more power or, you know, people are doing, it's just crazy. You guys know all about that stuff. I don't need to talk about that stuff, but. That's part of the stress of being here, though. You do hear it. And it's kind of hard to ignore. They really make it hard to ignore. You know, there's TVs on everywhere you go. And uh, I'm not a sports nut. I don't watch, I don't really watch sports. I watch a little UFC, maybe. Very, very uh, seldom. But, yeah, I like that. So we're going to try to get our work done today and get a new floor put down. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to keep, videoing as we put the floor down that's going to be the treacherous part uh, the the hard part is getting it down getting it all cut perfectly and my wife's really good at that stuff and so we'll get it done but i'll let you know when i get it done all right so i gotta go upstairs and get my camera straightened out Come on, buddy. Give daddy a break here. This is our upstairs apartment. Just a little place to escape to. We got pictures up here. It's got a little deck outside up on the second floor. So, yep. And then I've got all the, all of my flooring sitting right there. So I'm gonna have to get, that, get after it. Oh. But we're gonna fix them all up anyway, so it won't be yeah, there is a lot of difference, isn't there? Right. Like these right here are really light, and you get over there and they're dark. Mm -hmm. so, so we kind of mix them up. That's yeah. so why we have to open some. Uh, Flora's got all the experience from her, her days of, of construction. <laughs> she's got, she got her, her uh, all her experience. She laid almost a whole house full of bamboo, <laughs> which with the bamboo, it's natural wood. So she had to take every piece, like every piece like that and get in a big pile. And she'd put like dark and light and medium. And then she would swap them out to make those, those colors kind of be consistent all the way through. So I'm kind of wrong. That bamboo yeah, I love it, but you can't put it on concrete or you shouldn't. Yeah. So anyway, I'll have another place maybe one day that uh, put it on there. I really do like it. It was soft. You can buy hard stuff, but it's pretty expensive. So it's Saturday about, <clears throat> about three o'clock and uh, we're we're not done. It's looking good though. But depends on which side you look at. That's what I got left, so yeah, we're working. So we finally got the floor done. Let you see it there. Got all our baseboard to put back down. We still have this old transition strip. They wanted $45 for another one. And uh, I don't know, we're thinking about painting that one. See how that works for a little while. But yeah, it did come out real nice. Um, shut that door, see what that looks like. We'll come back and 
this is our little living room. We've got a place to eat here and and uh, we can put a TV over here. We have had, we've got a 75 inch in the other room. I put it on our dock area. And uh, yeah, but the floor turned out pretty good. All the little pieces. This is a snap together. Uh, you know, it, it's not nailed down or anything or, or glued down. But yeah, we've got a nice little transition strip for that right there. So anyway. So anyway, we got, we got that project done. Um, it's, uh, you know, it takes, it takes a little while. We've been, we've been keeping the grandkids, uh, uh kind of unexpectedly the, you know, my youngest daughter has had uh, some issues with the daycare. And so, you know, we're good. We're, we're good to keep them. We're glad to keep them. And, and, uh, but it, it delays a little bit of project, you know, if, if, you know, you gotta be doing something with them, which is great. And, but it does have its effects. So anyway, we're glad to have them anytime we can. Um, but yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're just trying to get back. We're just trying to get back to the Philippines. We miss it. I miss it, uh, greatly. And, and I think the simplicity of it is, is what I really miss the most. You know, you kind of order your day in a certain, you know, way, whatever you want to do. And, and, uh, not a lot of distractions necessarily or, things unless you just want to pick them up you know and and you you master your own universe when you're over there not a lot of people asking you for favors or anything like that so anyway we're we're trying to get back we've got some more projects we've got to do and uh wanted to get another quick video out and give you an update so appreciate all you guys miss you a lot and uh, we'll be putting up a video before too long